Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Pine Love or Die Try. And this is once again the band Pop Knob, Doc Quad Cud. Welcome you back. And, uh, this could be the last chapter of this game, I'm not sure. But, uh, or this playthrough rather, this, this route. Uh, I'm not sure what it's gonna be. Uh, that's the fun of it. Let's get to it. It was like kicked off a morning testing by right, testing the Alpha Terrors game together. It's multiplayer now, so we can all play together in the same world. This came with some fair share of consequences. He said, Come to me! Are you off me? You shriek, you dig yourself! I'm trying, I'm trying! There's too many mutant vegetables attacking! You and I need you to come to me! Where are you? Sorry, it's the day's birthday. Hit the side with praying together. It can wait. But that would be a good bonus point. Come to think of it, we're not even willing to be as a carrot. See you in the day, Violet? We have enough to survive the winter, but more supplies are always welcome. I'm on it. Well, the game's definitely got more exciting. What? Test him for the. What? For the test relations, but me and I'll. That'll have to wait a bit. I guess we'll see this. I guess we'll see next time. Yeah, next time. I can't wait! Let's put the rest of the world playing Times Game. Morning, Bob and Bob! I'm sure fly is hot. Huh? Sure as almost do. If you'll be up, you'll get you a track you left your life soon. No idea if it's gonna have any less headaches though. Who knows? Strange as it sounds, I've had some fun here. The whole game murder thing is great, but it has been all the way. I did mention that people other people killed me in your position. On second thought they definitely haven't thought through enough. Probably not. Well back to business. It's time to go to your first shoot. Pick who you've gone your first third date with. Who's that unlucky son we can today? Okay, Scarlet. Can't sound as far as there is two birds with a feather. Here's hoping you'll both have a day, both remember a change. Yeah, what? It's funny when you're not an easy act. Scott in the same place of matter. So he was engrossed in a book with a book, pile of books next to her. Of course, so they've been read over and over through the years. Hey there, Scott, what you reading? Hi, Bob. It's just a little fairy tale. Really? I'm surprised you read something through signs out the window. I'm one of very tastes. I quite like these stories, especially this one. Which one are you reading? It's called the Prince of Avaranda. Really, it's silly. I doubt you'd be interested in trying me. Smile, okay. It's a smile back at me in kind. Okay. I don't see why not. There's a young girl near it. Who's in the Prince of the Kingdom of Avaranda, which was far, far away from civilization. Like other princesses before her, she had no time for fat playing or parties. She <coughs> she spent all her time building all sorts of gadgets for her family and friends. Like a robot dog that we eat vegetables and didn't want to eat. Why can't I gotta try my hand this sometime? <laughs> Nia has a, blissful, a blissfully happy childhood. She often falls in love with a company named the Loria. The Volcano would never prove their relationship. The Air and Loria never found to see each other in secret. Every night the crew could treat by the crooked trees in Western Forest. But those days didn't last. One day her mother queen is taken by a witch never seen again. Near is forced to become the queen at the age of sixteen. 
their father's absence from the air and thus her best to lead the kingdom of years and prosperous. She's like no other theater they've had before. But she can really, she wants to leave. <coughs> it's clear she has no more time for the things or people that she wrote with all her head. And cries every night alone. But she knows she can't. She's too much responsibility for all about her. Then one day, years curse by the same which took her mother and forgets her other thing. Name, her family, her kingdom. Everything except for a lawyer, a lawyer, besides the And so she leaves, no one really feels ever sees her again. Oh boy, you regret the story. Thanks for listening to that. Oh jeez, I don't. I don't do love stories. Part B, the classic red, white, blue, white, blue story. Ah, uh, except for Rocky. Because Rocky... Interesting to be in a sports movie was a love story, but at least he's like anti romantic. Like, when he proposes to Adrian, it's the most anti romantic way possible. Look it up online because I'm not sure if I can say about it without running the copyright issues, but yeah, it's like anti romance the way he proposes to her. Oh, come on, believe me, Scarlet, like, here's the end, especially because you like it so much. Deeper into his, his, his tells us how much he loved the story. Well, there's not really much left, but well, why is this misspelled? There's not supposed to be a uniform in neighbor. Oh well, uniforms and military faces, wouldn't you? Well, you and the lawyer live a wonderful, live a wonderful life, neighboring king for many years. One day, she remembers everything and rushes home by and for her people. When she gets there, she sees her people from ruled by very much of her memory, and that her people no longer prosper the way they did under her rule. In anger, Nira confronts the witch on the border of Verandia. Which takes off her count. Yeah, I figured that might be the case. He like her to be Mayor's mother, long lost queen. Mayor's mother gives her an ultimatum. She can return to ruling in the kingdom, but she can never leave again. Or she can leave now and never come back. And that's how the story ends. You never get to know what choice there makes. It's quite the cliffhanger. Damn, <laughs> jeez. I wonder what happens next. Me, me too. I'm curious, what were you doing in your shoes? Okay, this might be the final choice here. Yeah. Sad a bit, but peaceful. I think I'll leave when I come back. Interesting, why's that? There's no point in living without love. Even if it was hard for near to stay, I can guarantee your love would never be realized. That's just too sad. I think the same way. I thought this story ever since I lost my memory. So I don't have a king or anything, but it's Same feeling too. That's just life, you know. I have to keep moving forward. Yeah, you're right. I'm really happy when I get to fall forward with Bob Bob. Me too, Scott. So I'd rather be right here, right now. Speaking of right now, somewhere special I want to bring you. Why did I say special? There was that. Where's that? You can think about this place ever since you mentioned you love fairy tales. Oh my gosh, there's turtles down here! Turtles! She's effectively dancing around the room, taking all the size. It's impossible not to smile. I think the ocean palace might be your thing. Just 
I'll practically jump on the screen so that got me a deadly bear hug. <laughs> this is wonderful, Bob. Thank you so much. You made everything so special, man. In ways I honestly couldn't believe, but you did it. This is just the beginning, Scott. We're in this together. Held Scott and kissed her on It was like he exposed the passion that set me on fire and she kissed me back and wrapped her arms around me. Always. Spent the rest of the night enjoying a lovely day. I played straight out of a fairy tale with nothing but love in our heart. Left her to smile on our faces. Can't wait to leave this island with you, Bob and Mom. Never been this excited, this happy since ever. It makes me feel like I'm living in a fairy tale. You know, I've got an idea of how we can spend life here. Just see. What's that? Oh, whoops, that was supposed to be here. What's that? Oh, jeez. So you why fairy tales read my thoughts. Today's date with Scott, I decided to try to take a stroll around the mountain. The night was clear as could be. Light breeze made it a bit chilly, but not, it's not, but not enough that I need to put on more. I feel like so fixing on the moon without thinking. Thought I'd find you here. What's that? Just a gut feeling. And the island's wide surveillance systems. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm just thinking. Can't believe the show's almost over. It didn't feel real earlier today. Time sure flies, doesn't it? If you only got less, the last third date with Terry tomorrow, and then the final ceremony on the day after. Speaking of which, how was your date with Scott today? Yeah, it was awesome. Oops. It was the best. Connecting with Scarlet was one of kind, there's no one I'd rather do beside me and her. Wow, really dude, seriously. Being married to her would be like a dream come true. Well, I, you, I'm not a romantic, that's why I said oh jeez and face palmed at that point. Yeah, jeez. Why well, are you a romantic pop and mom? I'm happy to hear that. It's with you two, I'm sure, whatever you two face out there. We fine, so you stay together. And if she stops turning people into zombies. Yeah, it's a conversation we have to have. Don't forget that the prenup. What well, exactly is a prenup anyway? I've heard that term before, but I've never understood what it means. Who knew that three dates were all you needed to figure out if marriage flipped? <coughs> This TV doesn't okay, doesn't work out. Maybe I should become a marriage counselor. Hmm. Anyway, I'd love to say chat, but I've got some work. I've got to get some work done tonight. Prep for the end of the show. You now what? I'm using company. It's not like you were up to anything. Oh jeez! Please don't let Scott find out about this. That reached out here to me. I put my hands in the sink. With her hand in mine, she pulled me with her too. Bobby? And I'm probably wondering, why did I bring you here all places? You like to read? Well, yes, but no. There's no area for us, good. So we, so this is where we store my information. I can use every single event in the show, fill them with secure details. Guard schedules, and most important, the shower records. It's hidden in plain sight, it's like your books. It's pretty smart. That's uh, what was done in the very first detective story, Purloin Letter, written by Edgar Allan Poe. Again, I salute the end when I speak his name because he served in the army. Yes, the very first detective story, ladies and gentlemen, before there was Sherlock Holmes, there was C. Ox Dupin. And the creator of Sherlock Holmes, <coughs> Arthur Conan Doyle, had said that himself. Where was the detective story before Poe breathed life into it? 
So don't forget that, ladies and gentlemen. Before there was homes, they were stupid and American. You need to know how to save them now. They're pretty useless to the average person. Interesting, a little Austin, Austin Lillian, let's say. Who here is going to read a book? I knew the state of education was bad, but not this bad. Still doesn't answer why you probably here. But you still have this lovely chair and table here that I do so love to work on. It is truly, truly exhausting for me to go out from this lovely arrangement to have to fetch the book I need to reference. So... You want me to grab the book for you, so you just stay here. I'm so glad you understand. Yeah, I'm doing everything I can to keep you alive. That's just a teeny tiny favor. <laughs> so okay, it's the least I can do. Great! Alright, to start, you grab the screenshots of Alpha and the and 100 recipes for a philosopher's stone and... I regret everything. This must be the 100th best book that has delivered. It's been hours! Seriously, who designed the system? The what? <laughs> who designed the system to be shot? Wow. I tried to read a few books I was living, but like Kat said, they seem to be just your, your books. And that's a wrap. Thanks for the help, Bob and Rob. I'll send you a card for when you're off the assignment or something. That right, that was pretty much slave labor. I like to think of it as more of unpaid charity work. You've got one last day tomorrow, don't mess it up. Curious, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get out of here? Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll try to figure out what my life was before, who knows? That's a good start, eh? Hey? Well, I've got to be back to editing. Night, Bob Mom. So you can't. Guess I'll head back to my room call the night. That's going to be the end of this chapter, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to do it, please subscribe, and I will sub back fairly well.